In this project, we investigate the self-piercing riveting joining technology. SPR is particularly attractive when other joining methods are not viable, like is the case for certain aluminum welding. SPR forms a mechanical joint between two thin plates in a four-stage process, clamping, piercing, flaring, and releasing. Our goal is to introduce microstructure to SPR simulation through data-driven mechanistic modeling. Up to now, the SPR process has been primarily studied at the continuum scale, where material microstructure evolution is ignored. However, modern materials have tailored microstructures to achieve desired results, making the final microstructure state of the plates critical for joint performance prediction. Our primary goal is to use multi-scale modeling to investigate the SPR process with real-time microstructure evolution history. The methodology laid down in this workshop paved the way in building a process structure relationship for the SPR process. The SPR model contains the six parts shown. The geometry is given. A holder and die are fixed in place. The punch is displaced eight millimeters in the negative y direction, causing the rivet to move. The plates make up the multi-scale region. In this region, microstructure responses at each integration point in the microscale finite element are computed by RVEs. The RVE replaces traditional material laws and provides detailed microstructure evolution. To allow the rivet to penetrate through the metal plates, element erosion is activated in the model. The element failure is predicted by the RVE calculation. Note that we designed the element erosion zone to minimize the mass loss when using element deletion. Only RVEs within the element erosion zone will compute microstructure damage and RVE failure. Material parameters for the aluminum plates and steel rivet are given. The non-concurrent model uses the built-in ductile damage model provided by Atlas. Here, the plastic displacement of failure and evolution function must be defined. Our concurrent model bases damage on the effect of plastic strain. Once the RV damage parameter surpasses the threshold, the element will fail. Our method equips Abacus with real-time microstructure evolution enabled by SC8. Prediction of the microstructure damage and failure process is directly done by the RV. Here are our results. The rivet comes down and penetrates the top plate. The rivet then proceeds to penetrate the bottom plate. Flaring begins to occur and the interlock between the rivet and plates is formed. After the SPR simulation is completed, the multiscale framework presents the macroscale von Mises stress evolution as well as the microscale RV von Mises stress and damage evolution. Here we plot the Mises stress for two selected elements. One can see the stress accumulation around the inclusion matrix interface region. This leads to damage initiation and subsequent failure of the RV. Here we plot the Mises evolution in the two scales concurrently. The top circle corresponds to the initial position of the RV on the right and fails within the first few frames. The bottom circle corresponds to the RV on the left and fails as the rivet begins to penetrate the second plate. Here we plot the reaction force of the multiscale model. We also plot the reaction force when the abacus built-in damage model is implemented. When comparing to experimental data, the multiscale model underpredicts the reaction force due to element erosion. This can be mitigated in the future using a meshless method or a multiscale model with an adaptive mesh scheme. We've shown how to explicitly incorporate microstructure in the SPR process. We've developed an efficient, real-time concurrent multiscale simulation in Abacus. The analysis shows how the impact of the microstructure can be important in designing the SPR process.